Hello everyone, Be the Amazing Greek here. Today I'm going to show you how to attach the uh, Keltex sling to your Keltex Sub 2000 40 caliber. You may have the 9 millimeter. I'm not sure why. Uh, so this was like uh, $10.60. Comes with the sling material. Two buckles for uh, adjusting and locking the position. Comes with the sling mount. A uh, what are they call this bevel got one washer that's got a bow to it. They're calling this the uh, sling swivel spacer, and then a washer and an extended screw. So the first thing you have to do on the left side of the sight, we took out the little screw that comes with it. It was holding it. I took that out. I left the washer that was in there in it because I watched another guy do this a video like this and he said that if he took the washer out it kind of got stiff so we're not going to do that so you take your sling attachment here you want to take this little piece like a little T slide that down in there then you want to take the washer that came with it set it on top of that so we're now inside here we're doing it from the top it'll only fit one way we're going to set our long screw then we want to take our beveled little washer we want to set that right here on top of the uh, mounting position um, left side of the sight then what we're going to do is carefully make sure you don't cross thread this go easy if it gets tight then you have you have it in there not started correctly All right, let's see ah see that's why the guy had that out that bevel washer as soon as I start to tighten down it gets a little snug so we're going to take that off we're going to try it without it ah see with the bevel washer in there, as soon as I started just to tighten it down a little bit, it got stiff and I couldn't move it. So this washer right here, it's okay. I uh, don't need it. Without it, I can move around and everything. Getting snug. There we go. That's what that little piece that uh, inserted in there was for, so that it creates a space so that when you do tighten down, you're still not you're not tightening down on the plastic. So then what we'll have to do, good lord, be nine feet tall to use all this. All right, so we'll feed this through. Feed it through. Come from, aim it from the top, it'll come through a little easier. What you want to do before you slide it through there is feed one end in through your little attachment here, which I'm smart enough I'm not going to pull it all the way out because I just slide this down here. That way you can lock the position. The other end you're going to feed in through the slit on your buttstock right here. That sounds painful. <laughs> so we're going to take this, put our sling attachment. I do the second one. Yeah, no, no uh, rehearsals here, people. This is all live. Uh, let's do like this. There we go. It'll be like that. And then we'll put this right here. All right, come through the butt stock. All right. And then we'll do one of them deals where you have to double feed from underneath. That'll make it secure. It won't be slipping on you. Right. Do this. Feed it underneath. There we go. And the 
same thing here. Of course, looks like you'll have to do some um, adjusting to get it exactly how you want it. Pull this thing down here. Make sure you don't get your belt twisted around and stuff because then it, first of all, it won't look as nice and it, it'll just end up aggravating you. Uh, there we go. I guess you could trim this if you really wanted to, but I would make sure you get it exactly the way you want. Okay, got a little spot there. We'll have to adjust and get everything the way we want. Like that. There you go. That quick to mount it adjust it hell you could even probably get you some ranger bands and uh, secure on this before you um, when you're installing it that'll take out any gaps or you could move this slide all the way down and then trim what you didn't want I would suggest if you did this type of material I've worked with it before when you cut it make sure you take a lighter and seal that up. That's what they've done here. Probably cut it with a hot knife. That way it doesn't begin to fray and fall apart on you and, uh, you know, look like a uh, little fuzzy thing. So, you know, put a little heat to that. That'll stop that. But that's how simple it is. And then uh, folding. Now that it swivels, it gets out of the way. Let's see what we got here. Is it going to interfere? Of course not. They designed it good. There we go. That's the kel sling quick and dirty install, and uh, I'm V the Amazing Greek. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.